Hello, this video demonstrates how to create and use IP groups in Scrutinizer. This lets you show traffic between customized groups of IP addresses, allowing for improved traffic analysis. To get started, navigate to the Admin tab, click Definitions, and select IP Groups. To create a new group, make sure New is selected in the existing group's drop-down, and then type in a new group name. I'm going to use one of our existing groups just as an example. In this drop-down here, you can select all IP addresses, IP address, so you can enter each one individually, IP range, or IP subnet. Then type in your IP here and click Add. You can see that we chose IP subnet and then entered the subnet we wanted, which is this one right here. Double-check your information and click Save. Let's look at our incident response system and create reports for network segmentation using the IP group we just set up. Go to the Status tab, and I'll just click one of our interfaces and run a Source IP Groups report. Once you're in the report, you need to add a filter. Now, you probably click this Add button to add a filter, but there's an even easier way. Simply click and hold your selection, and drag it to either Include or Exclude Filter. I'm going to include this. Then click Apply Filters to update the report. Now I can change the report type. I'll change it to a pair IP groups to IP groups report. And now I can see the other IP groups this one is communicating with. This allows me to verify that it is only communicating with the correct IP groups. I could even save the report and set a threshold to notify me if the IP group is communicating out of policy. This kind of easy and quick investigation is great for meeting and exceeding certain compliance standards. This concludes our demonstration. If you have further questions on the capabilities of IP groups, our awesome support team will be happy to help you. Thanks for watching.